Hello everybody, it's Everall Total 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy X 2 HD. Alright, so a lot has happened, a lot has happened uh, in between episodes. Um, mainly, I spent time doing two things. Uh, doing all the Chocobo stuff and getting to level 20 in the uh, uh, V Infinito to get the last sphere over there. So, I... Um, I got the sphere, uh, so we can technically do the thing, uh, for, uh, for the, uh, what's it called? Um, the door in Mushroom Rock Road, uh, and I also unlocked, uh, the two dungeons on, uh, Mihen High Road and in the Chocobo Stable. So, uh, I'm gonna go, I have a separate video that I recorded that is going to go up between this episode and the next one, hopefully, <clears throat> that goes over the basics of chocobo raising and shows unlocking all that stuff. So, uh, look forward to that. Um, as for the clip of getting to level 20 in V Infinito, uh, here it is. Here's, here's what it, here's what the boss is and everything. So, um, yeah, Maester Keenock, man. So it's going to be interesting to see. We'll do, a, we'll do a separate episode probably when I feel well enough to do the V Infinito stuff. But uh, as it is, um, I've also leveled up to level 72, 74 uh, for Riku and uh, Pain. I was, I gave them both the Lady Luck dress sphere and got them to double EXP and just had that going while I was trying to catch stuff for chocobos, I gained a lot of levels that way. Also off screen, um, I decided to just set a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of, uh, uh, traps, you know, uh, all over Spira in chapter five here just to see what I would get. Uh, and I got some pretty, pretty strong monsters. So, uh, I don't know how we can see with a, so, like, we have Jerry over here, who is this critical bug or something like that. But, um, yeah, he's got some really cool stuff. He comes with health, health preserver and sense preserver. Uh, I gave him Abominable, which gives him the ribbon effect. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's he's pretty fun. He's got flair. He's just got a lot of stats. Um, actually, you know, let's just go for each character. We have Jack over here as a Tonberry. Um... Who has Quick Flare? Uh, I tried using some of these in the. I did a few matches in the arena off screen just to have fun over there with these guys. Um, I guess I'll give that to you for now. Uh, yeah, Flame Dragon is still pretty powerful, but he's a little outclassed at this point. I might try to raise him up regardless, but everything. Every, yeah, Brother is still level 3. Uh, let me give that to you for now. I got a uh, one of the Femgoons here, which I don't think I'm ever going to use. Uh, we have Gundam, uh, who yeah has uh, ailment defense and total limit break, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, I got a Prince Sahajin over here that I named Sidon, um, so he's got some fun stuff. Uh, we got Barry, who's one of those like large guys that I actually I, you haven't seen yet, but I no no you have when I went into V Infinito I think. Maybe? I don't know. They're in the Chocobo episode, you'll see them, but he's annoying too. Um, but yeah, so I, I just set up a whole bunch of traps out. You can get some really high level monsters at this point, so if you want to do that and just put them on your team, I, I guess. But uh, for now, uh, we're going to head back to the desert to try to do that boss fight. So, um, yeah. We're fighting Angramenu and Tarich and Zarek. Um, Angramenu has 3,000, th I'm sorry, 333,444 health, each of the arms has 5,444, 5,440, there we go. Um, he drops a ribbon, which is awesome. You can steal a mega elixir, which is also awesome. Um, yeah, we saw this already, but, uh... She says they're no match. The, uh, the boss is going to take time regardless. The general strategy I'm going to have is buffing everybody, casting Reflect, and then having Riku constantly 
using a Mega Potion, and the other two use Darkness abilities. Uh, he has an attack that does a ton of damage to you, but only if both of the arms are alive. Good so you want to kind of try to keep them both dead. Um, he takes a turn to revive them every so often, so you know you just have to keep on killing them, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this guy just feels like the penance fight to me. Like it's just gonna take a long time. But let's see how it goes. This is my first real attempt at it. Um, so yeah, you're gonna mix a potion and a high potion together. Uh, let's start by using protect on everybody, and you can use shell on everybody, and then next turn we'll use reflect on everybody. I gave Yuna and Pain the crystal bagel, so that doubles their uh, health. Are you gonna start off with the? That's oh, that that's rude. Yeah, we don't need MP in this fight because we're gonna just be using darkness and mix, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's play it safe. Uh, okay. You can cast reflect on everybody, and you can start using darkness. Yeah, perdition's flame is the problem here. With Yuna and Pain at high health, they could stay alive, but Riku's probably gonna, or might die here. When you have all three characters, it splits up the uh, everything pretty evenly, so you should be good there. Also using Mix as opposed to Stash is better because uh, it has less of a casting time. Not knowing is the fun part. Okay, good. It just, it does default to, uh... I probably should have given Riku... Uh, Crystal Bagel also, just in case, but we'll see how this works. So Darkness is gonna do a lot of damage, which is awesome. Um, it's gonna constantly... No, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Uh, it's gonna constantly uh, hurt us, but that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, having Reflect up... Yeah, it's just gonna put Reflect on him, not that that means anything for us. Having Reflect up means that when they My cast their little magic good. attacks, it's just one less attack to, to hurt you. Uh, darkness, uh, you start using darkness too, and so I'm just gonna hold down the X button and we'll see what happens and just keep an eye on things. Uh, so both of the arms should be dead, or at least the one on the, yeah, the one on the right is. You can see the eyes aren't glowing anymore. This had better be worth it. Uh, I don't think he has any, like, big, um, there it is. Okay, I don't think he has any big weaknesses. Uh, there's full life. So the nice thing about full life also is that it just wastes a turn. But we can take an arm out with both of our characters here using darkness. If it does, you know, 2800. I don't think it targeted them though when it was, since it was just brought back to life. But uh, I also obviously just have to keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on our the status of our reflect and protect is I don't know if that wears off. It probably does. Bloody breath. Okay, so that's a problem too, but at least Yuna is uh I don't think darkness affects darkness. Yeah, Demi could be annoying too, but thankfully it's just a regular Demi. Let's see. I mean that's yeah it's Yuna's Okay, uh, I don't think so. And again, the silence doesn't ma matter at all because we're done using we're done using magic right now. So if we're doing about 3,000 damage, this will take about 100 turns. No, 140 turns, but still, no, 100, 100 110, 115 turns, right? or attacks, not turns necessarily, but you know what I mean. Uh, but it's still it's still pretty great. As long as we get those darknesses in to keep at least one arm dead at all times, then we should just be able to avoid the big attacks. Or we could just use it thing. This shouldn't do too much though, right? So we got we got protect going now. That's still doing a ton of damage to us. Yikes. Yeah, see that's that's the, the unknown factor. You know, that he can My just absolutely yours. destroy us. I say he, but it's probably an it. <laughs> this thing does not look like it conforms to gender. That's fine. 
Um. This had better be worth it. Yeah, it says here that it needs both arms to cast Perdition's Flame, but that that's so that's a lie. But at least again, I'm having it waste its turns uh, healing, like having the main body waste its turns healing the arms. The main thing is making sure that you have uh, all the potions and high potions because you're probably going to use up all of them. We do have a bunch of Meg Potions, and we do have the Stash, but eventually that will that will run out. I'll look at you using Kiraga. I wonder if I can cast Reflect on him so that he better be worth it. just bounces the Kiraga back onto us. This is actually- uh, this feels like it's a much smoother battle than, uh... What's it called? Uh, the penance. Like this isn't the game's super boss capital S. This is just a lowercase super boss. But still, he's gonna. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was gonna actually cast uh, cast it. But uh, yeah, so far so good. <clears throat> we're we're doing we're doing a nice amount of damage here. Okay, so it looked like it stopped casting. No, it was just doing the thing. Okay, fine, we'll fight back. It's too bad we can't poison the boss. <laughs> this had better be worth it. Um, so yeah, we, we tried this strategy out. I mean, I kind of screwed it up, but we tried the strategy out before when I was like 10, 15 levels lower. Um, and it was just, we, we were we were getting way, way too much damage to be able to maintain this, but I'm fully, I'm fully waiting for the other shoe to drop. But uh, we'll, we'll just keep this up. Are both arms alive? Or, no, okay, one's, one is still dead? Yes, okay, good. So we should be able to take this one out right now. Yeah, I, I don't think we were strong enough to take the arms out with two darknesses before, and that was uh that was a big that was a big thing that that we needed. Because uh otherwise I think it would have just started casting uh Perdition's Flame way too way too much on us. My suffering mirrors yours. Let's see. Hey, we learned Drain, hooray. <laughs> um. Our MP is gone over there. Oh, you know what I wanted to look up? I wanted to look up if Riku could use a mix on, on uh, like a... Oh, that did so much damage. If we could mix something like uh, the hyper, you know, uh, whatever it was, hyper mighty G. And this had better be worth it. I have no idea, honestly. Good so far. I have to look away to look at the, the list that I have over here, so... Okay, so Reflect is still up, which is good, because he can cast Flare at some point. Demi just goes through Reflect, so that's fine. Dark Matter and... Okay, now I'm gonna do something stupid. And I'm gonna see if I can better be worth it. make one of those. Do 
I, ha I don't have any dark matter, really? Oh, that's... I have a dark grenade. Okay, never mind that. I'm very happy I set that to wait. While we're here, I just kind of want to take in the, the design of this thing, like... Did that take two hits and it's still not dead? All oh, the others are doing 2,000-ish. I just want to take in the design of this thing, like... Actually an Eldritch Horror. Like, lo look at it. Just like the skull motifs and like the, the spikes. Yeah, yeah, that unfortunately did not kill the thing with two attacks. So we got, we got one of these off. Riku, stay alive, please. Riku is definitely the right choice to give um, the whatever it was, the protect bracer, the thing that gives her shell and protect always, just so that I can make sure that she takes the least amount of damage since she has very low health. I don't have any dark matter. Thought I might have fought one of them to give me that, but I guess not. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, why is my attack down a little bit? Dispel, that's not good. Oh, we're silenced. Yeah. Uh, we can use that. Your white magic, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just have a whole load of debuffs, that's why. Do you? Come on! No, you don't get a thing like a buff or something. Oh, no, don't use Protect the second time, you fool. See, this is, this is the part where it starts getting muddy. Okay, at least... Oh, yeah, it hit him, but at least it missed the... Uh, missed you. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get more, another reflect up. I took the uh, Ragnarok off of pain because we really don't need that right now either. No, 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 no. Don't go back to that. Uh, let's go back to darkness. Both arms are alive, which means it's about to use the Perdition's Flame on us. My suffering mirrors yours. Okay, we killed him. Uh, I need to see... No, give me one I'm just gonna pause this for a moment. I need to see if there's like a specific thing that I can use to raise my attack specifically. Maybe the three stars? I don't know. Um, no, that's just a that's just the damage thing. Problem is, I don't have I don't have a thing that tells me what these do. I just have the names of them. Let's go for. Let's let's try let's try this. So I definitely have, have those. Darkness. Okay, 
let's go for a... Uh, stamina tonic and a monotonic and see see what that does for us. That's not going to be a um, an attack buff, that, but that should give us more health. I may as well try some of these, right? Really? That was just a steel thing? Okay, that's rude. One second. Let me see this one. Mm. Let's try... Uh... Let's try... I don't know if any of these things actually help us. We don't have a hero game right now. That's a problem. Uh... Okay, I think, I think we, we can't experiment for two, two turns in a row, unfortunately. I want, I want to do something, um, uh, actually that should, no, I need to get Reflect back up on you. Actually have to look up items. Gosh. Items. Yeah, that's okay. But so the the springs are just absorbing things. Oh, the tablets double double HP. I think it's supposed to double the next part of the part of the next part of the next Uh, drink makes someone invincible. That's weird. It's weird though, in the mix thing it says you can make a hero drink with a hero drink. So maybe that's just a party hero drink, but I have no idea. Um, I really want to make this. Uh, let's try it out. Say chocobo wing plus a my suffering uh, mirrors yours. X potion, let's say. Let's see, mix. Uh, do we have a chocobo wing somewhere here? Chocobo wing and more or less most of these things. Let's go for an X potion. On it. Ow, jerk. Come on, really? It's because I took too long finding the Chocobo in. We should survive this. Very good. Okay, so that was final wall, whatever the heck that does. We're running out of potions here, but we do have a bunch of X potions still that we probably could mix into a, uh, a mega potion regardless. May pain be my blade. I like that uh, in the Dark Knight uh, form, uh, Yuna has. I think that's Brotherhood, right? Or no, no, no. That's uh, that's a uh, Salad Bowl. <laughs> it's, uh, that's that's uh, Titus's ultimate sword, Calibog, right? I think that's not Brotherhood. I think that's his ultimate sword. When she's a samurai, she has My Orin's sword, which is really cool. We have a really low health.
Uh, let me just see. I'm gonna give Yuna an ether, just so that, just in case in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take Riku's turn to die. I'm gonna use Pain's turn. Actually, which is more important? I think Pain's turn is actually more important to to keep up because he's about to use Perdition's Flame again, aren't you? Uh, let's use that. I think I killed the arm in time. Nice thing about the regular items is that Riku has a really low casting time. Not that it like means anything, because all attacks here take forever regardless. This had better be worth it. Okay, so Yuna. I'm just gonna check out. We still, yeah, we still have a ton of debuffs. Who had the thing that we kicked debuffs off? Don't remember. Oh, no, you have that, actually. Uh, don't you? That's the spell tonic, right? Maybe. It's not worth, not worth spending time figuring out. Ultra potion be do? Oh, I mean, an Ultra Potion probably just fully heals everybody, doesn't it? That's another one of the mixed things. Another one of the mixed tapes. Yeah, so the big problem as the battle rages on is that is that you start getting the debuffs slowly on you, and uh, that keeps... that raises the chance of the, the arms, both arms being alive at once. Uh, let's see... What's the difference between a final phoenix and a fantasy phoenix? A final phoenix. Maybe it's just a full heal and a party restore. There's just a lot of interesting things. The phoenix down in a megalixer is a fantasy phoenix, which I guess means that it's a full heal plus MP plus HP. Yeah, I'm using the time during this battle to, to look at mixed recipes. I'm sorry. The remedy is probably for one person. A panacea I assume is the whole party. An ultra cure sounds like it's a cure and uh, and an HP thing. You know, a, a remedy and, a, and an HP thing. Uh, I think he's gonna get a perdition's flame over here. Let's see who gets their attack in first. Nope, you're using a Kiragi, you moron. I'm gonna kill the arm now. No, you used it anyway, dang it! Oh, that's Glimmer of Despair, never mind. I'm okay with that. Okay, we're at 29 potions now. Let's make a Mega Potion. Go for. Hmm. Yeah, let's make a mega potion. Let's do high potion, or high potion, and a potion, or an ether and a high potion. That's interesting. Or a high potion and an antidote. Really? That's a mega potion too. That's cool. Okay, well, we have plenty of antidotes, so we might be able to do that. Well, we can start working on our X potions after this also, I guess. I have a feeling this strategy isn't going to hold for like later super bosses, but we'll have we'll have a different strategy later for those. Right now, we need to kill this guy with with this tactics because these are the job. This is this is the dress spheres we have. Okay, I think he's going to get an attack in. Let's see. Oh no. You know, it's interesting how long Protect has lasted for, and, and Reflect for that matter, considering in like other Final Fantasy games, it, it seems to have a set amount of turns. May pain be my blade. Then again, this game has like, you know, the spells that kind of hit everybody, so that's, that's the, the trade-off, I suppose. 
I'm wondering if the debuffs are from that attack that drains our MP. Oh, you did get a partition spell. Sure. Stay alive, Riku! Yeah, we actually shouldn't be too far behind after, after that. Okay. If our HP gets really low, I'm gonna use one of the, uh, Ultra Potions. I'll just say that's two X Potions. I have no idea, honestly, where are we? We're about 30 minutes into the video. This thing has to be getting low on HP. looking up on my phone now if there's a way for me to uh, get uh, if there's an item to give me attack buffs because that's, that's where I am in my life. Uh, I think he's going to get me. No, one of the arms is dead. Uh, no, he's good. That's the thing that uh, saps us glimmer of despair. Um... Pain, I want you. No, don't use Charon. I want you to use the Nico. Oh, I don't I figured oh, that was actually fantastic timing just because uh, we weren't gonna target this guy with, with our darkness otherwise. Um, let's see. Regen, protect, shell, I don't need that either. Spell spring negates the cost of extra abilities, I don't need that. Strength up. So how you all doing today? It's, it's the same as um, it's the same concept as as the uh, penance fight. Is that you just use the same tactics over and over forever, and you try not to mess up once because that'll destroy your whole attempt. Okay, that's that didn't reflect. I learned confused. Right. Okay, uni. Did I kill him? Yes! Yes! Haha! <laughs> I was like, yeah, he, he, the main body stopped moving. <laughs> oh man. Okay, awesome. So, all in all, that was just time consuming, but yeah, that strategy is fantastic. I really thought I was gonna run out of potions though. <laughs> What You're a, a real what lifesaver. I guess you can always count on the gull wings. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Thanks, but what a disaster. Yeah. I guess. Oh. It's all relative. This is nothing compared to what happened to home. Yeah, really. Besides, what's done is done. No happy festival fireworks here.
You're pretty tough. Hmm? I smell something good. Hey, you're right. Victuals! Yay! Food? Yeah, we whipped it up during the battle. <laughs> really? As long as we're still kicking, we're gonna get hungry. Hunger's proof we're alive. I guess so. We've got heaps of food. I don't suppose you're interested. <laughs> Go Wings, at your service! <laughs> and there is episode complete for Beacon L! Ah. Oh. Wow, okay, I think, I think that might be the last episode complete we needed. And we get a ribbon for it, which is a fantastic reward. And we got the Mercurial Strike Garment Grid. Please be the last one we needed. A All right. Bonus for the gold wings. Oh, they look great on you. I um, want one too. <laughs> Blended work. Gosh, thanks. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hey, why not, right? <gasps> oh, I love it. You scored the mascot dress sphere, and we get the sphere hunter uh, achievement trophy for uh, getting all, all of the dress spheres in the game. So, mascot is for getting a mission complete. Also, oh, you only have two. Okay, cool. Mascot is for getting an episode complete. Excuse me. In all of the important areas, there's still a couple episodes complete that we can get that are not necessary for this. Uh, but yeah, this is. All the episode completes in chapter 5, you get the mascot dress sphere, which looks absolutely ridiculous, but is overpowered as heck. Become a lethal stuffed animal, annihilate the enemy before you die of sheer embarrassment. Shake that fluffy booty to victory. Oh man, let's go check him out. Let's go check him out. So, um, we're going to be using mascot for the foreseeable future. Um, Yuna has the Moogle costume, which is actually kind of funny because, as you can see, she has 9,999 HP when she has it on. Um, so the Moogle costume that she had in Chapter 1, um, it's implied that that was actually, like, that's the same thing. So it's just great. But yeah, so this is essentially the character's actual class in the game in terms of abilities. You get Moogle Jolt, which is Restore MP, which is awesome. We start with Cure, uh, Regen, Life, and Wall, which is Shell and Protect, so again, amazing. Mugle Kiraja, which Mugle, uh, yeah, Restore HP and Cure Party Ailments. Uh, Regenera is Haste and Regen on the party. Life Jaw is Revive all party members and fully restore HP and MP. Wall Jaw is Shell and Protect on party. Uh, you can also have Auto Shell, probably Auto Protect. Uh, Arcana to use Dark Knight skills and Swordplay to use Warrior skills. So I'm actually gonna have to level those up as well because um, yeah. So you just get you get Mascot plus Arcana and Dark Knight for Yuna. Uh, Riku's Mascot is uh, is a uh, yeah. Kate Fire, Kate Blizzard. Kate Thunder and Kate Water. As you can see, each one also has Poison and Petrification as a side effect. Look at that face, though. Um, armor Eraser, Magic Eraser, Speed Eraser, and Mental Eraser lowers Defense, Magic, Evasion, and Magic Defense. Poo Poo Platter instantly defeats all enemies. It's essentially a, a, a Shinden Zentetsu. Ribbon, which is exactly what it sounds like, so you don't even need to equip one. Auto Shell and probably Auto Protect, and also Instinct and White Magic skills, which I'm going to have to give work on that for her as well. And finally, Pain, whose mascot is Tonberry. Um, Pain starts off with all of this stuff already. Dark Knife, Sleep Knife, so yeah, Dark Sleep, Silence, Poison, Berserk, Stone, Stop, uh, Insta Death, and lower it's a full break 
lowers strength defense magic and magic defense so yeah amazing again auto shell and probably auto protect there uh, Bushido skills and black magic which she's uh, I should do this because we have already learned both of those for her so yeah is it a worth it reward for doing all the stuff throughout the game to make sure that we got up to episode completes absolutely 100% this is probably the best reward for long-term things we got in the game and once again if you saved Xanarkin for last for the episode complete uh, you'll be screwed out of this because you don't automatically return to the ship so um, yeah absolutely absolutely amazing um, there's still a bunch of stuff for us to do in the game right now. The dresser is so rare, why do we have three of them? <laughs> Some special bonus, I really had my hopes up! It's so good though! Um, let's see, so our, we're at 91% now because we actually, you know, before we end off the episode, we actually have one more thing to do in B Canal. Surprisingly. Well. Excuse me, the desert's safe and the cactars are doing great. But yeah, probably, like, by far the hardest thing for us to do in throughout all of this. Uh, is Benzo by the cactars or is Benzo over here? I guess Benzo is by the cactars. Um, yeah, okay. So let's go over to... I don't see Benzo in there. Let's go over to the cactar nation. Sure do love a good dig, don't you? Uh, I also want to do the central expanse uh, off screen just to try to find that stupid key. But, um, so let's see. The uh, things in Mascot that we couldn't find. Alright, Marnola. Marnola died. Uh, let's see. Yuna learns ribbon also. They all do. So, I guess Marnola is gone. No, look! She's right here! Where? Oh! Baby! Uh, Yuna also learns Moogle Beam, now. which is a powerful Give attack. some time, and she'll grow. Then we'll have a new Marnala. Marnala's gone, but she'll grow bigger and become a new Marnala? Huh? I guess so. Oh, you didn't know? Marnala is the cactuar word for grandma. Huh. If you say so. <laughs> well then, we look forward to meeting her again someday. Riku also vin uh, pain learns right. a skill called Cactling Gun. Which is heavy damage on one enemy, so yeah. Just a lot of fun things you can get, but uh... Benzo says, uh, she says, Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> That's the gist of it. Okay, so she's a baby now. This is essentially Groot. Um, but yeah, that's that's it, I think. Um, we, uh, we just had to come back here to, uh... No, 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 I didn't want to do this again! Oh, that's kind of cool. It's, it's just back over here. Team Tamea. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of this, but... Time to use up all my ammo! I hate that I won. I was literally bat uh, bashing muttons, M button mashing. I was just button mashing, and I won, and I got a high score too. <sighs> um, but yeah, that's it though. Uh, that's it for the cactars. Uh, you have to come back and talk to Benzo over there to get the last bit of uh, percentage points for uh, B Canal over here. Uh, so let's let's head back on the ship and see if we're at 92%. Maybe maybe we will be, and they'll be nice to me. Um, but yeah, in the next episode or in between episodes, I'll show you the stuff with uh, choke bows, and then in the next episode, we are gonna go try out some of those dungeons and uh, work on our mascot. Okay, we're still at 91. Uh, work on our mascot. Uh, dress spheres so that's awesome the final 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 thing is I want to see what the mercurial thing is 
Mercurial Strike is sword play weight down, Bushido weight down, and instinct weight down. That's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna give some of these stuff, because you can get... Um, you can only equip these on your monsters if you have jobs in them. So you should just, even if you don't plan on using them, you should give them some sort of jobs. Because the effect that it has on the monsters is sometimes really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm so happy and excited to finally have the mascot. And, uh, we're going to be taking on a few of the other dungeons and getting ready for Endgame. I just had a scary thought. You think the new Marnel is going to start sending you on errands too? <laughs> After the little Marnel, it turns into a Cactar. You think uh, it'll turn into a Cactar mother next? I guess so. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.